Hello everyone, in this video let us solve example 9.2. So here they are asking to find I2 that is the current that is flowing through 12 ohm resistor using superposition theorem. So you know about superposition theorem like if we have more than one source what we will do we will consider only one source at a time and we will be deactivating the other sources. So suppose if you want only one source and if you have other uh, current source or the voltage source then deactivating means voltage source will be shorted and the current source will be made open. So in this case we have uh, two voltage sources only there is no current source. So what we will do is we will consider only one source at a time here. So if I am considering the 54 volt uh, voltage source I have to short this 48 volt voltage source and I have to find the current through the 12 ohm resistor. Next in second step what I will do I will consider 48 volt voltage source but I will be deactivating this that means I will be shorting this 54 volt voltage source and I will be finding the current through the 12 ohm resistor. So finally what we will do we will use this additivity property. So because of these two sources the currents which are flowing will be added okay then uh, the resultant I2 will be found out. So now what we will do is we will take 54 volt voltage source into consideration. In this case what we will do we will short this. So we will redraw this circuit this is 54 volts this is 24 ohm, this is 12 ohm, this is 4 ohm and this is shorted. Okay, this is 4 ohm. So, here we have to find the current. See, we, uh, we can see that the 12 ohm and the 4 ohm, these are in parallel. So, we can use the current divider rule. If I consider this main current I, okay, this is the current that is getting divided between these two branches. So, we have to find this I. So, to find this I, we have to take into consideration both the resistors. Do not do the mistake of ignoring this. Okay, I have seen many people ignoring this resistance and they will find I is equal to 54 divided by 24 plus 12 and this will give you wrong answer because the current it is getting divided here also, you have to take this resistor also into account. So, first let us solve the parallel parallel combination 12 into 4 divided by 16. So, this is 3 ohms. So, here what happens instead of this parallel combination, I can replace it with a resistor, single resistor of 3 ohms. So, here I can write it like this 54 volts, this is 24 ohms and this is 3 ohms. This is 3 ohms. So, now what happens we can find this current I, right? I is equal to what you can do V divided by R equivalent. So, what is V? It is 54. What is R equivalent? We can take the sum of these two that is 27 which is nothing but the 2 ampere. So, this current is 2 ampere and this 2 ampere it is getting divided between these two resistors. Okay. So, we can apply the current divider rule now to find I2 to find I2. So, from current divider rule I2 is equal to what is the main current 2 resistance in the opposite branch 4 divided by the sum of the resistances 12 plus 4. Now, I will not take this 24 ohm okay? because we already know the current that is flowing and we know the resistance in these two branches. So, we can directly apply the current divider rule. Okay? So, 2 into 4 12 plus 4 is 16. So, this is 1 by 2 and here it is 0.5 ampere. So, the 0.5 ampere current because of the 54 volt voltage source it is flowing in the mentioned direction. So, this is 0.5 amperes. So, we have already found out this. So, not only this method you can also use the source transformation to find this current. How? We will convert this voltage source into current source that is 54 divided by 24. You know that when we are using source transformation, the value of the resistance does not change here. So, this is same thing. Here we have 12, here we have 4. Okay. Now, what you have to do is you have to solve these two. Do not alter this 12 ohm resistor because you are finding the current through that 12 ohm resistor. So, you should not alter it means you should not touch the branch where you are going to find the current or the voltage. So, here I am finding the current. So, I am leaving it as it is. I am not going to touch this branch. 
but I will do the modification to the other two. So, 24 into 4 divided by 28. Okay. So, what we can write this as 24 by 7. Okay. Now, we have 54 by 24. Then we have 12. Then we have 24 by 7. So, now to find the current I2, we can use the current divider rule. 54 by 24 into 24 by 7 divided by 12 plus 24 by 7. So, here what we can do 24, 24 cancels. This is 12, 7 is 84. 84 plus 24 is 108. 108. Then we have 54. Right? 54. 54 divided by 108. So, this is 2 ampere. See, using this method also we got 2 amperes as our main current. This is also 2 amperes using the source transformation. Okay? Then remaining thing will be same. So, now let us take into consideration 48 volt voltage. So, now, so now we will be considering 48 volt voltage source. So, the 54 volt source will be shorted. This is 24 ohm. This is 12 ohm. This is 4 ohm. And here we have minus plus 48 volts. So, make sure that you are going to write the polarities carefully. Okay, just uh, see here it is minus and plus. So, you know internally what happens, we can write the current source like this that is towards the positive terminal. I will take the current in this direction I which is getting divided between these two branches. So, uh, we cannot just ignore 24 ohm and we cannot calculate this I. Okay, so we have to take into consideration the effect of 24 ohm also. So, first let us find the parallel combination 24 parallel to 12, 24 into 12 divided by 36 that will be getting 8 ohm. So, now what happens? See, check this. Okay, 6 2s are 6, 6 are 2, 3s are 3, 8s are 24, 12 3s are 36, right? So, 8 ohm. So, next we have 8 ohm. Okay, then we have 4 ohm, then we have minus plus 48 volts. So, this is the current now which is flowing, which is equal to 48 into total resistance that is 12. So, that is 4 amperes. So, this 4 amperes, it is getting divided in between 12 ohm and the 24 ohm resistor. Now, using the current divider rule, I2 double dash, I will consider this as I2 double dash, that is equal to 4 into 24 divided by 24 plus 12 is 36. So, you have 24 by 9 amperes. Okay, 24 by 9 amperes. So, this is somewhere around uh, minus 2.67 something. Okay, so you can write this. Um, y minus C is C. The given current is flowing downwards, but the actual current is upwards. So, you have to take the negative sign. So, I2 will, I2 double dash. Here, I2 double dash, let us consider this. This one normal current. Okay, I2 double dash is negative of this minus 24 by 9 amperes. Okay, so now using the additivity principle, I2 will be I2 dash plus I2 double dash. So, this is 0.5 and this is minus 24 by 9. This one we can consider 1 by 2, right? So, 9 minus 48 divided by 18. So, this is nothing but minus 39 divided by 18. Okay, so this is somewhere around minus 2.16 amperes. So, this is the current that is flowing through the resistor 12 ohm. So, now we can also use the, the superposition, uh, this one, uh, superposition theorem. We can also use nodal analysis. We can use the source transformation technique that is to solve this particular problem. So, now we will take the nodal analysis. I will mention this voltage as V. I will randomly, I will take the current direction. Okay. So, here what happens, I will apply the KCL at this particular node. You know that sum of incoming currents will be equal to sum of outgoing currents. So, here all are outgoing currents. So, V and here I am getting plus first. So, I am taking minus 54 divided by 24. Next, this is V divided by 12. This is V plus 48 divided by 4. Since I am getting minus first, I am taking it as plus. This is equal to 0. Taking the LCM, okay, V minus 54. Here to make it 24, we have to multiply by 2 on both these sides. So, plus 2V. Here we have to multiply by 6, okay, 6. So, this 6V plus 
we have 288 that is equal to 0. So, v plus 2v, 3v, 9v, 9v that is equal to minus 288 plus 54. Okay. So, if I take this one, what will be the answer? It will be minus 234. V is equal to minus 234 divided by 9. So, I2 will be equal to what is this node voltage V divided by the resistor because the current is flowing in this direction. Minus 234 divided by 9 into 12. Okay. So, this one is 2, 6, 2, 1. Then you have uh, 1, 7. This one is 9, 1, 9. Then you have 2, 13. So, it is minus 13.6, 13 by 6. So, this is minus 2.16 something appears. 